Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, I explained how to animate the cube and how to use your mouse to interact with the cube. In this video, I will show you how to create a 3D cube with distinct vertex colors. In this example, I will use the indexed vertices and the indexed GPU buffer. Here are coordinates for the cube. This is the same diagram I have used before. In our previous example for the cube with distinct face colors, I said we cannot use the index buffer. The reason is that to use the index buffer, all the attributes for its vertex must be unique, including position, color, and other properties. However, the color attributes for the cube with different face color are not unique. For example, the vertex C here, the top face, front face, and the right face or have different colors. So the color attribute at the C vertices are uh, not unique. So this is why we cannot use the index buffer for that example. However, for the cube with different vertex color, the situation is different. For each vertex, it has unique position and a color attribute because we can specify the color on the vertex, not on the different faces. In this case, the attributes are unique for each vertex, so we can use the index vertex or index buffer for this example. Here are eight vertices. This eight vertices is actual number of vertices and a corresponding vertex and a color information. This is the uh, index data. You can see for each face, we have six index numbers to represent two triangles. Again, we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link. From this link, you can download or the source code used in the last video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command. git clone, paste this link. Uh, this will generate a web GPU 11 folder on your local machine. This folder uh, contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change the name of web GPU 11 folder to GPU 12. Rename web twelve and cd into this new folder. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is a Visual Studio Code the interface. Okay, we can close this welcome page. Here contains all the source code used in the last video. Now open a new terminal window and run uh, npm install to restore all the npm package. This installation may take a while, so be patient. Okay, finished. All the installed package are stored in the node modules folder. Now. Let's make some changes to the index.html file from dist folder. Open this file. First, we need to change the turn to 12 because this 12th uh, video. Next, we need to change the h1 title here to cube with distinct vertex color. Now we will keep this tool uh, radio body for animation and the camera control. We also keep the canvas elements with ID equal to canvas web GPU. Now we can save this file.
from src folder open the vertex data.ts file. In this file, we need to add a new method called cube data one. You can see here is eight vertices with position and the color information. Here is the index data. You can see for each face, we have six index numbers that represents two triangles. So this is data called cube data one. This is different from original cube data. This is for creating cube with different face colors. Now we can save this uh, file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.ts file. From SIC folder, open main.ts file. And from here, we need to replace the cube data with cube data 1. And also here, data 1. And the number, uh, we need to change the index length. Index length. And here, we need to change the vertex data. Another thing is, here we don't have the uh, color buffer because the color data are already included in the vertex data. So here we need to change the color buffer to index buffer. Here we create GPU buffer, but this method is for floating a number. But here we need to use uint methods. Here is index data. But we need to introduce these methods. Create buffer unit. So we need to introduce this method from the helper.ts file. Inside this pipeline, we need to change the buffer attribute here. Because vertex buffer contains both the position and the color instead of two separate position and color buffers. So here, this attribute only has one buffer now, instead of two. So we need to replace this part of the code. You can see here, we set a real stride to 24, because there are six floating 32 numbers for each vertex, three for the position and three for the color. We also set the seeder location for the position as zero, and for the color is one. The offset for the position is zero because we start uh, with the position, and we said the offset for the color is 12 because we count the color attribute after three x, y, z position coordinates. So we don't need to make any other changes to the pipeline code. The uniform buffer and uh, binding group code here is the same as that we used in the last example. The only place we need to make uh, some changes is inside the draw function here. Right now we have vertex buffer contains the position and the color. So we don't need this color buffer. So we need to remove this code. But we need to add index buffer to the render pass here so we need to add this set index buffer is the index buffer to this render pass finally we need to change the render pass drawing method here to draw index methods since we use the index buffer in this example so that's why we need to change the method to indexed. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. We can see this file. Now, up to now we have finished all the programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bind our TypeScript code in production mode here. npm run prod. Okay, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link from this uh, status bar area to open Cron Canary to view our queue. 
So click this link. You can see the animated cube with different vertex color on this page. It rotates continuously. As in the last example, now we can click the camera control button and use your left mouse button to raise the cube and use the right button to move the cube around. And you can also use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out the cube. Now we have completed uh, this example. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video. I will repost the link for the source code below this video. You can click the link to download the source code. I will end this video here. In next video, I will show you how to create a sphere wireframe. See you next time. Bye.